You are welcome to another session of Sam's Economics Tutorials. And in today's video, we are going to look at the effect of subsidies on equilibrium price and quantity. So the question has been given us, given the demand function as QD equal to 900 minus 20P and the supply function as QS equal to 300 plus 30P. The first question asks us to calculate the equilibrium price and quantity then secondly given that the government gives a subsidy of 10 us dollars per unit produced so the first question that we should calculate the new equilibrium price and quantity and lastly to calculate a government spending on subsidies so let's get started solution at equilibrium quantity demanded should be equal to quantity supplied so from here we can copy down the supply and demand function so this is the demand function so we can copy it down as 900 minus 20p to be equal to to be equal to the supply function 300 plus 30p From here, we look for like terms, that is, we collect uh, like terms together. So, this uh, 20p will cross the equal sign to become positive, and the 300 will go to the left hand side. And we are going to have 900 minus 300 to be equal to 30p plus 20p. So we are going to have 600 to be equal to 50p. So from here we can divide both sides by the coefficient of p. So we divide both sides by 50, here by 50. So our price, that is our equilibrium price, will be equal to $12. So that's our equilibrium price and from here we will continue looking for the equilibrium quantity. So for the equilibrium quantity we can substitute in any of the function either in the demand function or in the supply function. So let's use any one. So let's take a let's take a demand function. We are going to have quantity to be equal to 900 minus 20 into 12 multiplying uh, 20 by 12 we are going to have 240 then we are having 900 <coughs> minus 240 so our equilibrium quantity here is equal to 660 units so now that we have had our equilibrium quantity to be 660 units and the uh, equilibrium price to be 12 uh, US dollars so the second part says that the government gives a subsidy of 10 US dollar per unit produced. We are going to look for the new equilibrium price and quantity after a subsidy. So let's uh, continue. So let's bring down the initial uh, demand function before subsidy. So we had a new demand function as 900 minus 20p and now we are going to the subsidy is only going to affect the supply function since subsidies are given to suppliers to reduce their cost of production so then a new supply function will be given as QS to be equal to to be equal to 300 plus 30 
into P plus 10 US dollars. The reason why adding uh, this uh, subsidy to price is because when subsidies are given, it will reduce the cost of production. So we are going to have the new supply function as 300. So from here, we open this bracket, 30 multiplied by P. We are going to have 30 P. Plus 10 multiplied by 30, we are going to have 300. So from here, we add like them. So we are going to have a new supply function, your S, to be equal to 600 plus 30p. We are going to have 600 plus 30p. So this is our demand function, and this is our new supply function. At equilibrium, we know that quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. So we are going to have a uh, 900 minus 20p to be equal to 600 plus 30p. So from here, we collect like them together. So 600 will cross to this side to meet 900 and we are going to have minus 600 to be equal to so this are minus 20p will cross to the other side to have 30p plus 20p so we are going to have a uh, 300 to be equal to 50p so from here we now have we need to look for p by dividing both sides by the coefficient of p so let's divide both sides by 50 and divide here by 50 that is our new equilibrium price after subsidy is equal to 6 US dollars and now we can substitute in uh, this uh, supply function or the demand function to have the value for cure that is the quantity so what we can do now let's use the supply function equal to that's our cure equal to 600 plus 30 P and we know that our P is 6 so let's just input the value of P there so we are going to have 600 plus 180 that is multiplies uh, 30 by 6 we are going to have 180 so our new equilibrium quantity cure is equal to 700 and 80 units that is our b sub 1 then the last part the last part government spending and government spending is equal to to the subsidies multiplied by the new equilibrium quantity so we are going to have 780 units multiplied by 10 us dollars and our government spending will be equal to 7800 so that's our value for government spending after giving subsidies to to producers